Hey everyone, it's Amber Dawn and Delce. Today's video, we've got another Thread Up unboxing box. Are you excited, Delce? Yeah, we're excited. So today's box is a shoe box and it is women's 15 pairs for $100. So I was super excited, women's shoes or the shoe box and then the men's box are my all time favorite. If you've watched me, you're aware of that. So I'm excited that I finally got a shoe box. So let me put Doodle Dolce down and then we'll start the unboxing. So I haven't actually done a shoe box in about a year. So pretty much right before COVID started is my last shoe box video. So I have been eagerly waiting for the shoes to come back in stock and I finally found one, so I'm excited. Opening it up. So let me just double check that I did pay a hundo. Yes, $100 for this, 15 pairs. This is what it looks like, and let's see what we got. Okay, so when I undo the tissue paper, that's what it looks like. See a little bit of dirty shoes on the bottom, that is okay. So the first pair that I'm pulling out are these flats. They are Viga, Via Spiga, that's the brand. And they're a blue suede flat. I'm not seeing the size. The size is USA eight and a half and Europe 39 and a half. So that's what they look like. And I just see a little bit of dirt, but honestly, they're not too bad. You just clean up the bottoms and that's that. Next pair we've got here. Oh, these are Toms. See, I love getting the shoe boxes, you guys. So this is what they look like, black pair of Toms, and they are the like lacy material. See that? These are a size. Hmm. I'm not seeing the size. Okay, so these are a woman's seven. And I see a few minor imperfections along the detailing of that. Doesn't look too bad. And then again, this is what the bottoms look like easily cleaned up and these i think will go fast toms are pretty comfortable i've owned a few pairs um so yeah next pair we have are 14th and union and that's what they look like they're like slip on would you say these are clogs i don't know you guys let me know but they appear to be maybe faux leather they're six and a half um, yeah, man-made upper, so a faux kind of like crocodile leather material. I really like the color. I think, I think these would go pretty quickly. Um, the bottom, you guys, look at that. Clean sole. So that looks pretty good, and I can get that Sharpie off, no problem. Perfect. Next pair we have are some Crocs. So these are, let's see. Um, men's six, women's eight, and they have a little heel to them, and it just says iconic comfort. They're thong style, and they don't seem to be too dirty, honestly. There's a little bit of dirt under that strap right there. Easily clean this and get these ready for someone to buy, but these might be for someone at the pool by the beach. Perfect. Next pair we have, oh, Okay, let's see what's going on with these. Okay, that's how they... Okay, so I figured it out. They go around the ankle, so it kind of twists and wraps up around the ankle like that for a visual example. Um, and they... This side does not seem to be too dirty. On the bottom side, it is a little dirty, but that can be easily cleaned. The brand is Zara and I'm not seeing the size 39 so Zara woman size 39 just a pair of flats and then I, I think that they wrap around you guys let me know I mean this is kind of crazy look at that I think I don't know yeah I, I think they would wrap around like this right and then maybe tie around I don't know this is some Indiana Jones shoes or something. I don't know. You guys let me know. You guys. I see a pair of Nikes in here. Ooh. 
Look at that. Oh yeah. So what kind of style are these? Let's see. They're not junk family. So these are a size eight. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure the style I can look up. All athletic shoes like this have a little tag in there and then there's an RN number or just you'll see a digit. You'll see numbers in there and you can look at the style that way. But these just look like they need to be cleaned. So a little TLC and then these will be for sale. They really don't have much defects. Okay, the top, like the, the front of the shoe maybe, but I think I can clean it, you guys. So a pair of Nikes. This just makes me realize how much I love shoe boxes. I love thread up boxes in general. If you watch any of my videos, you can tell. But I love the shoe boxes. So the next brand, mm, I don't even know. Okay, Loeffler Randall. You guys, I don't know. I've never heard of that brand. It's a size eight and a half. Um, now these do have some wear on the toe area right there, a little bit starting on this side, but other than that, they're really, okay, scuffed in the back, but not too bad. So silver, little sandals, these are cute and they have a little ruffle. I like these, but I've never heard of that brand. So you guys let me know if you've heard of it. Next pair. Oh, wow. So we've got some Converse with some wild shoelaces. So it looks like these are in really good shape, you guys. Like those bottoms, they really don't look like they've been worn. These look like clean, clean. There's a little scuffs on the outside and then it appears maybe these are the extra shoelaces. They're just attached like that. But you guys, I don't think that these have been worn. I think that these are new. These are a size men's eight, women's 10. So they are blue tie-dye shoes and I really do not think that these have been worn. Just have some scuffs, probably from storage or something like that. Um, I will take them. So I've unboxed eight pairs already and we have seven left or should be seven. So we will see. The next pair is Vince. So these are a navy blue color. That's what they look like. Ooh, ah. Um, so these have been worn, they do have some wear. And again, you guys, you give these shoes a little TLC, clean them up and they will be selling in no time. I'm trying to see what the size is. Maybe that's why they were in here. Hmm, if you guys know where the size might be for the vent shoes, let me know. I really do not see a size thing anywhere. Maybe that's why they're in here, I don't know, but I can always measure and then just kind of judge it that way. But they just need a little loving and they will be good to go. Ooh, I see some leopard print. Oh gosh. Well, these are out there. Wow. These remind me of Marge on um, Real Housewives of New Jersey, Margaret. She, these look like they belong in her house. All the patterns and stuff that she's got going on. Anyways, so these, this brand is Bucco, B-U-C-C-O. And the size is a six and a half. Y'all, that looks like a tiny bottom, look at that. So these are just the little wild eccentric shoes. Someone will love these, right you guys? Um, they're not my style, but man, that heel, you guys, whoo, but they really don't appear to be in too bad of shape. Like the outside of the shoe, it seems like it's in really good condition. And then the bottom can just be cleaned up a little bit. They will be good to go in someone's closet. Next pair, we have Dolce Vita. So I love this brand. I have some Dolce Vita shoes and they are really comfortable and I love them and they're good quality. They last a while. So. I'm not seeing the size. Oh, size 11. So these are slip-ons. They have some embellishment. Cool. They're Again, they're really not in bad shape. Missing a few little embellishments on this side and probably on this side as well. But other than that, really, really good. Woo! 
next pair we've got, you guys. Now I like these. So these are Ola Johnson. I've never heard of that brand. These are a size 39. How cute are these? So these, I can figure out these shoes. These wrap around and then tie. That is really, really cute. I love these. They're really not in bad condition. Some minor, minor scuffs. Then cleaning the bottom, but there's no toe gunk or anything on it. So that's always good. But it's just like gold beaded embellishments. It's like a, a suede or faux suede material on it. I really like these and it's a good neutral shoe. All right, you guys, I think there's three pairs left. There's at least two, I don't know. There might be three because they both be black, but I can see some cowboy boots in here. And last time I got cowboy boots in the thread up shoe box, they took a little bit to sell, but they pretty much paid for the box itself. So save the cowboy boots for last. Okay, so yeah, three more pairs now that I pulled these out. So these are some black booties, and this is Lucky Brand. Whoop. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, Lucky Brand. Not seeing the size anywhere. Okay, still not seeing the size. But these are black. I don't think these are leather. So like a faux leather black booty studded. Really, really cute. I just need to be able to find the size, but that's what they look like. And there is a little bit of wear on these and around the buckle and stuff, but I don't know, I've gotta do some digging. I'm not sure the size of these, but they will be in my Poshmark closet once I figure it out. Two more pairs. And I'm, again, I'm saving the cowboy boots for last. Woo, okay. So these are Franco Sarto. I've gotten this um, brand in boxes before. They don't sell for me too high price, but they sell inventory gets moving and that's a plus. But these are black pumps and it's like a textured heel, like suede around the rest of it. Let me find, that's what the bottom looks like you guys. But let me find what size they are. Okay, not seeing the size anywhere, so I will have to measure them myself. But that's what they look like, black pumps, and then they whoop, hook around the ankle like that. And really not in bad shape. This is a really, really good shoe box. Every shoe box I get is banging anyways, but this one I love. All right, you guys, the last pair of shoes in this box, some cowboy boots. Yeehaw, okay. Let me see what brand. You guys, these are Justin boots. That's a really, really good brand. And so Justin size eight and a half B. <sighs> this is what they look like. So if anyone needs some shoes for rodeo this year or just for the heck of it, you can buy these. But these are Justin brand. They do have some wear to them like that. Really not too bad. There's some scuffing on there, but I mean, they're cowboy boots. They've got some wear, they're worn a little bit, but honestly, they're not in bad shape. I love this box. So that is everything, all 15 pairs. Of course, I'm gonna make my money back and then some, I loved this box. Everything that I got really was in good condition. I've had some boxes previously that I've had to donate the shoes. They were just, no TLC could help that. But other than that, I really did have a good box. I loved everything that I got. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe you liked anything, it will be for sale on all my platforms that I sell on. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.